morning guys welcome to my channel Ella dishes it out uh, today I'm going to be making some pulled pork so I've got my my pork ribs here that I've had them um, I seasoned them and I put them in the freezer so they're semi frozen now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the crock pot and get them started so we're gonna have them. I'm gonna make these uh, pulled pork ch chop sandwiches once they're done I'm gonna push it down there in the crock pot it's already seasoned like I said and I'm just gonna um, add something unique to this recipe coke so i'm going to put about maybe a half a cup a half a can of coca-cola into the into the recipe and then later on i'm going to come back and add some brown sugar but right now i'm just going to do this and get it started get it closed y'all know i love my crock pot so it's just easy you just you know, put it in there and forget about it until it's done. It's the easiest way to cook. I mean, it's, it's almost like cheating. You're not really cooking. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys. Um, we'll come back when it's done. Okay, guys, we're going to finish up this pulled pork recipe. So let me just take the top off the crock pot. The pork is ready to be taken out. So let me just adjust the camera a little better. So you guys can see me too. All right, so let's do this. It's falling off the bone ready. So I'm just gonna, whoop, I'm just gonna get it out of this pot to this pan. And I'm gonna pull it off the meat. That's why it's called pulled pork. Because it's pulled right off the bone. Okay, so I got all the pieces out. And I'm going to turn the crock pot off. I'm gonna get a smaller fork and I'm just gonna start pulling the fork off the bone. Okay, so I don't think you can see what I'm doing, so let me adjust the camera a little bit. I think I'll move this pot and now you can see better what I'm doing well, basically I'm just pulling the bones meat off the bone and it's so tender and easy because it's been cooking for let me see I put this on around 11 and it's now 5 o'clock so that's probably six hours or so been cooking so that's what I'm doing right now just separating the meat this pork was kind of fatty so I'm gonna have to go through it and pull the fat meat out because I don't like fat meat in my pulled pork sandwiches <clears throat> but it smells so delicious and the gristle of course has to come out too so I'll just pull those bones and gristles. I see a gristle right there. Let's see if I can grab it with my fingers. See gristle. She got all the bone and gristle that you see. Another gristle. Huh. I think I'll eat that one off. Hmm. So good. Okay. Just go through this. Separate it. I mean, you could do this on the chopping block too, but that's fat. I don't want that in there. Just another piece of fat. I don't want in there. that off. Get the meat back. Okay. So just go through and remove all the fat and gristles. So we'll regroup once I've completed that. All right. Okay. I've gone through the process and I've separated all the bone and fat and gristle. And this is what I had. 
in there that I pulled out. Now, some people will uh, trim the fat off the meat before they cook it, but I don't do it that way because I allow the fat to help tenderize and cook the meat. Um, so, you know, that's how I do it. So anyway, this is the finished product, the pulled pork. I just separated it. And I don't know if you can see good enough with the lighting, but basically I just separated it um, with the, uh, with my two forks here, made it into small pieces. So um, we're gonna have this on a sandwich <coughs> and I'll show you the sandwich, the finished product once we're done, okay? All right. Okay, there you have it, pulled pork. Pulled barbecue pork and homemade coleslaw. Mm-mm. Bon appetit. Hope you guys love uh, watching my channel and watching my recipes. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe, like, and share.